Pescatoria Amosca coming to you one more time to let you know how to set up the Chuck Nymph. The Chuck Nymph. We start out with a chameleon line, a 15 pound test. I run about 5 feet, maybe 6 feet. Depends on how tall you are. Now, for instructional purposes, we will call this a tippet ring. So, with the chameleon attached to your fly line and a tippet ring on the end. Now, because it's a winter time and we're going to be fishing the tailwaters, we're going to have this five. X line, 5X of fluorocarbon. We're going to go a little lighter than the normal because the water is going to be very clear and it's going to be a little bit low. So you take the 5X fluorocarbon and you attach the 5X fluorocarbon to the tippet ring. And I like to use a uni knot. They're stronger than a regular clinch knot or the improved clinch knot. So let me go ahead and do the uni knot for you. The uni knot, a very easy knot. So you put the line through the tippet and you have it like a sole. Fold it over. Then you take enough out so that you can put the two lines together and come up with the tag with the tag like this you got a tag like that now you see you have a loop there and both lines together this is your tip it to the end and this is the end that you're going to tie with the tag end you wrap this around both the lines both lines wrap it around I usually do four times has no problem four or five times if you need it five times if you feel better I use a four so now you've got a knot that looks a lot looks like that okay you take the tag The little tag end and you pull pull that tag end so that you get a figure eight and you pull that up not super tight just so that you have a knot that looks like that let's see get it in the focus here Okay, I should have used the black background. Is that better? Then you make a nice little wet and you just pull and pull and pull. Pull it a little bit more like that and then pull and then it'll pull nice and tight. And that'll be on your tippet ring. You can cut that off nice and close. So now I got my chameleon. I got my uni knot onto the end of the tip of ring, and I got a four or five feet of a five X. Okay. And so now what I have here, these are called the bobber stoppers. They're very cheap. You can buy them at any fishing store. Sportsman's Warehouse has it. And I use this for a cider. You can use a regular indicator on your line, or you can use uh, whatever you want. Okay, so now is the time to put, if you're going to use a bobber stopper, you got to put it on it now. The bobber stopper, you just thread it through here, through the black tube, pull it all the way on. It will go over a tippet ring. And so now, 
what you have here is just this little tube get it all nice and wet and pull of the tube pull of the knot off of the tube on your line on the chameleon line okay so now we just uh, take the tube off and we have uh, this string like this and the reason you put it on it now because it won't fit over the flies but this so you make it as tight as you want you can cut these lines as short as you want it'll slide up and down put it everywhere you want and it slides nicely up and down the chameleon wherever you want to use the cider okay so now we got the cider we got the tippet ring we got the 5x and now we're gonna go put on the dropper sides so now I go up about a foot about a 12 to 18 inches from the bottom and I fold the line in half the 5x tippet I stick my finger through there and I go one a two a three a quattro cinque so now we got a five or four rolls then we just take the end of the tippet and put it through there make the line nice and slick you still have a figure eight style knot lick it up and boom, boom ba -bam. tighten it up okay boom you got a little nut stopper knot there and then I go up another 10 inches or 7 inches it depends on how you feel and how the water is and I do the exact same thing so I stick my finger through I go one, due, tre, quattro, cinque and then I come up put the tip it through and uh, lick it up nice and good and uh, boom just light up the knot make it a little tight okay and this is what I'm gonna show you why we do that so now I have a piece of a 6x a tippet 6x a tippet I'm gonna do the uni knot again okay put on the, the droppers and the, the droppers I'm gonna use the uni knot again I put it through my little finger like that this is a 6x a 5x is the main line and then the 6x off of the 5x wet it a little bit make a loop like that make a loop like that folding it over in front that's a uni knot like that okay so now you've got this loop And one, two, three, quattro, four, quattro times, maybe, maybe cinco, cinco, cinque, four, get it nice and wet and make a little, a little, uh, a figure eight knot. So now we have this loop like this we make a two of these uno due okay we take the five x tippet and we put this over through the five x tippet number one we put it all the way up to the top knot so we have a one knot and a two stopper knot see 
and you place this above the stopper nut. Anywhere above the stopper nut. Make it nice and wet and you pull tight. Boom. So now you've got a tag, a dropper. The second one you put it down below on the other nut. And you can just slide this down into the knot, and that's where it is. And what happens is this dropper slide it down into the knot. Go ahead and slide that down to the knot. Pull it a snug. You don't have to make it really super tight. When you catch the fish, it will tighten up. What this will allow this to do is this knot will actually spin around. Now you can do this in two ways. You can do the uh, uni knot, which is a much tighter knot around the line, or you can do a figure eight on the bite, but that makes a little bit bigger knot, and I will show you that. So, we got uh, the six X tippet. You can do a figure eight on the bite, or you can do a loop knot. Figure eight on the bite would be to make a loop like this. Wrap it around your finger once, uh, like that. So now you have a loop like that. Take that loop, but don't go through. Go through the back. Go around one more time and go through the top. So now, this is what's known as a figure eight on a bite. Pull it that like that. Boom. We will clean the tag off really quick. So with this, you have a bigger loop. You just place it over the line above the knot, above your stopper. And put it through like that. So now you put it through. You've got the knot all the way through. And what this does is it just closes up on the line and you have your dropper and you can just slide that down to the knot which is a, it's at the knot slide that down to the knot this is a little more a knot involved because you have a knot on the line and then you have a knot a little far away. The advantage to this is though, this is a much looser and it will spin a lot easier. Also, when you want to replace your tippet, when you chip your tippet up, 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 and it gets it too short, then all you have to do is a cut one of the lines. You have a loop like this. You have a loop like that. Just to cut a one of them like this with your loopers and it just pull it off and it will all come off.
and it comes right off the line and leaves your line with a no knot. Okay? The uni knot, when you go to clip it off a short, you're still going to have a little extra knot in there, so the knot will build up. So now you've got your heavy jig fly on the bottom, uh, maybe a, a egg or uh, maybe a stone fly or something nice and heavy. Hopefully you have it a jig fly. And then on the dropper, you will put your midge or whatever after you look at the, the water. And then on your upper one, you put your emerger or whatever. And that is called the chuck nimping system. Ciao.